just want to let you guys know going forward you guys can find all my builds on mobilelytics.gg i'll put the link down in the description so you can check out the full build gamers bungie just gave us the most broken meta build that we could ever ask for with prismatic hunter being released this season one of my top three favorite builds in destiny 2 has always been the wires handshake one two punch arc hunter combo but now we have combination blow with nighthawk you can choose any super you want but just being able to just get your super within 30 seconds maybe i'm being drastic a little bit 45 seconds with dynamo and hands-on just being able to dodge and freeze enemies with prismatic and punch stuff i mean you can see here in the footage you're just constantly getting your super back quickly when you're surrounded freezing enemies punching them i mean this is busted and you're probably going to see ton of these videos every Everyone's probably uploading this build. I might have thrown a little twist on it that you haven't seen before. And I'm actually going to be bringing this into the day one raid. I was going to go Titan, but we chose to go three Hunters with one Titan and two Warlocks simply because this new Still Hunt Sniper is going to be absolutely busted for Nighthawk DPS. So if we're ever in a hard DPS encounter where we're struggling, I think this is going to help out. And, you know, Hunters can always help out with that. Uh, we don't know if they're going to ban Lucky Pants in the raid. We should find out later today or right before the raid race starts. So let me break down this build and kind of show you what I've been using. Remember, everything you're about to see here, you can change. This can just give you like a base build to run and kind of just break everything down for you and explain how it works. First off, hopefully you guys enjoyed the other video and unlocked all your prismatic fragments, aspects, and abilities and supers. But hey, if not, go do that. The super, Golden Guns Marksman, going to just be an easy swap to Nighthawk when you get your super or when you want to dps a boss going to be using gambler's dodge because you would need to dodge next to an enemy to refresh that powerful melee that will be combination blow this is going to stack with your whole build quick strike gives you melee damage combination blow times three huge damage on bosses should be an easy clap dust field grenade the reason why i'm running dust field is because the fragments i'm running and the artifact mods i'm running is going to give me a little bit more damage to enemies affected by dark debuffs stylus executioner this will just give me invisibility and weaken targets when i come out of that so it's just going to be an easy quick punch it's like having assassin's cow on but you don't we're using winter shroud because we're going to dodge next to enemies to stack up that combination blow and get that charge melee going and also try and freeze them inside the dusk field fragments we're using purpose picking up an orb is going to grant me restoration since i'm running a solar subclass pretty much just going to keep me alive good healing protection when i'm surrounded by enemies which i'm going to because i want to dodge and punch more damage resist this one you could swap out for blessing but i liked using bravery because i'm using a one-two punch shotgun from crota zen raid it is a strand weapon the reason why i'm running a strand weapon is because it's going to give me energy towards my transcendent with using dark abilities stack that with my nade and then punch between one punch and just killing everything inside that dusk field that should almost juice my abilities up and again this is just something if you want to swap out what i meant by blessing final melee blows which you're going to be punching in this whole build it's going to give you that health regen so if you want to put this on you can or play into the more unraveling rounds and debuffing targets we're using courage this is why arc solar and void abilities deal increased damage to targets afflicted with darkness debuff well that darkness debuff if you see in the left hand corner it's unraveled if i shotgun melee something when i dodge next to that boss again and punch it i'm gonna do more damage i don't know the exact percentage on this i might try and damage test some artifact and some fragments later today it's it's, it's juicy and then the last fragment is dawn powerful melees hits against targets make you radiant and then powerful melee final blows make myself and my teammates radiant so you're always gonna have that flat off your weapons which is good i'm using sword breaker with demo one two punch you can use slide shot one two punch use any one two punch shotgun you want this is just what i chose for the build energy weapon could be sunshot i just like sweet sorrow because i'm using it with land tank and all i have to do is shoot three separate targets and get that additional damage resist this makes it so i can play a little bit more riskier and with backup mag on this thing's like my favorite auto rifle in the game so i just enjoy it but again weapons are up to you you can use tractor cannon to debuff enemies or i was actually messing around with this new machine gun 600 rpm uh, with reconstruction bait and switch just playing into that unraveling rounds artifact mods real quick again i haven't had a lot of time to test this but the main ones that it pretty much what i was looking at if you're using something that has dealer's choice on it like that machine gun it's going to be overcharged also with this perk winning hand when you get precision final blows or rapidly defeat combatants causing the target to explode dealing solar damage to nearby combatants this stacks with multiple weapons that you have on really haven't had a lot of time to test it but it just sounds cool elemental siphon rapid final blows with a kinetic weapon or a weapon match in your equipped super it's an elemental pickup you can run this if you want i just selected it because i wasn't using a sword or anything press the advantage breaking a combatant shield which we're going to be doing that a lot grants increased weapon stability handling and reload i just figured it would help you out with your weapons but if you want to use something else i totally get it we haven't had a lot of time to test this stuff out the reason why i'm playing into all these three is because i just hey man they sound cool and i can get them to work i actually had this proc so 
defeating a weakened target provides a small void overshield. So when you're invis with Stylus Executioner and you come out, when you hit the enemy, you're going to weaken it. And if you kill it, it's going to give you a void overshield. I didn't think this would work with the subclass setup I had, but it does. So I would definitely run that. We got Radiant Orbs. When you have a Solar or Prismatic subclass, picking up an orb makes you Radiant. Just more ways to get that weapon damage. And then this, the Galvanic Armor, while you have Arc or Prismatic subclass equipped, incoming damage from combatants is reduced when you're amplified. And you're going to be amplified pretty much all the time. If you're running like a GL for damage in a raid, void sources deal increased damage to weaken targets. I'm sure you'll have the target weakened, so why not run something like this? And Shield Crush, this is pretty cool for Void Titans, but also I wanted to play into it as well. While you're amplified or radiant, your grenade recharges faster and deals increased damage. I'll just get those Dusk builds even quicker. I think Shield Crush with Peregrine Greaves Titan could be a lot of fun. Armor mods are pretty basic here. Hands-on and Dynamo are really important. Remember, you're probably going to switch over to Nighthawk before you super. So just keep that in mind. Also, you could put on Aeons in the raid, and we all know you can switch to Lucky Pants if they don't ban them, and put on that nice crispy Warden's Law. You can actually go get Wardens this week. It is it is the Nightfall weapon, so farm those Engrams. Resist, Concussive, Dampener, Chest Piece is up to you. Recuperation and Innervation playing into my healing and my grenades. Grand Weapon Surge, I just put this on for my shotgun. Uh, double Bomber so that I can get my Dusk Fields back quicker. Powerful Attraction to pick up the orbs. Going into a DPS phase, though, if you're using like a, a GL, you're probably going to run Triple Surge anyway, so just just make sure you have like a, a swap pair of swap boots ready to go I'm telling you right now you're probably going to enjoy this build i'm having a lot of fun with it prismatic hunter is a lot of fun test out different subclasses test out different builds with this swap out some fragments aspects but this i feel like this is just kind of the core meta for hunter this season though a lot of people are going to be using it when the exotic class items come out i already have some crazy ideas for uh, this build to get even better or just stronger with ad clear so i'll put some game loop in the background just to show you how i've been enjoying it and having fun with it you will run out your useful Do you think we change anything? With the build? Yeah. Definitely not, I can see. Honestly. I'm gonna keep looking it over to what we've been doing too. Oh no, right there! I kind of did a little nasty rotation. We might want to mark that. I did. I froze the guy and then I Nighthawked him. I didn't even mean to do that. That was cool. Sweet build after this. Should be cooking. This is probably what I'll be running in the raid. You let me play Golden Gun Hunter and Arc Hunter at the same time. Have set up an extraction. They're trying to harvest the light from the traveler. You've got this. Destroy it, Guardian.
I have not done the, uh, the exotic yet. Switch point energy. Maybe, uh, oh, maybe I could do that exotic mission next or something. But a sniper, right? Also got plenty of builds coming. Day one raid race. I'll be live. You guys can tune in and get your Twitch rivals emblems. And don't forget, you guys can get my shaker that's available now on gamersubs.gg. Code Cloud at checkout. You can get the military waifu on the cup, on the shirt, on the coin enjoy it and thanks for supporting this video and i got plenty more coming we've been juicing youtube last month we hit 10 million channel views just on youtube alone you guys have been killing the short i plan on uploading a video every single day for the next 60 days i'm gonna try and hit that you know work hard play hard right thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one